What's up guys, Trix here, welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.2. This is an extremely special episode because it is episode 50. That's it, we're halfway to 100. Uh, we're at a nice episode 50, so for this episode, instead of trying to make too much progress, we are going to go on a world tour, uh, because I don't think I've ever showed off my entire world in one episode before. So, um, in case you don't know, in case you're new to the series, this is our character, Alex. He is the main character of our Terraria story slash adventure. This is our house. Um, okay, so, I guess we'll start off in the house. Right here, this is our trophy room. This is where we keep our banners, our boss trophies. It's where I have my bed. I need to make a bedroom. I'll probably do that up there. And then also, I've got a throne down here because, well, I don't know. Um... Now, here's our storage room. This is where we house everything for the Let's Play. Every single item in the game is going to be here. Hopefully, that's what I'm going for. Uh, up here, there's some extra chests where I just store stuff if I want it quickly. Like, um, up here, I've got key molds. Um, over here, I've got pets that I need to put away. And, yeah, uh, don't mind the stuff in my inventory. Um... Okay, now over here is the armor room, where I am collecting every type of armor. Uh, so here we go, we've got the wood armor, just just regular wood. I'm not going to have every single wood armor, that would take an entire room of its own. We've got wood armor, copper armor, iron armor, or that's tin armor, iron armor, lead armor, silver armor, tungsten armor, gold chest plate, need to get the rest of the gold armor, jungle armor, meteor armor, uh, that's platinum armor, necro armor, crimson armor, uh, molten armor, cobalt armor, soon there will be mithril armor, armor and adamanti adamantium armor and stuff like that. Surprised I actually remembered all those. Um, here we go, this is our crafting room where we've got all of our crafting uh, workstations and there's going to be more to come. And then this door right here leads down into a elevator. And now if we fall down the elevator, we just go to the underworld. There's nothing special in the elevator except for one very cool, very awesome... Is that a worm? It's a worm! I... Uh, I can't get it with... I need a bug net for it. No! Oh, I... Oh, dang it. Could have gotten that as bait. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Please die. Ooh, dropped a soul, dropped a soul, dropped a soul. Okay, there we go. Uh, where's the rest? Hello, slime. Alrighty, this is the underground hallow, and here we are in the underworld. So, yep, it's uh, pretty crazy. I uh, got a giant bridge here because I used it to fight the wall of flesh back like 30 episodes ago. Please give me your dang it. Okay, um, alright, are those like hard mode demons or something? Another soul light. Wow, I've gotten three souls of light already. If we go to the right, this is the very special thing about my underworld. This is what makes it different. Uh, you may be able to see it on the mini map, but I have a lake in my, I have a giant lake in my underworld. Um, you may ask how I did this, and my answer would be I don't know because um, I didn't intend for this to happen. I uh, I was digging a elevator, and then I had a bunch of water around me uh, because I was digging through all the, the the layers with all the lava, and so all that water came down. And it came, it came down with me, and it flew, it flowed right to here, and it created a giant lake right here. Oh, I was killed. Um, I'm mean, gonna have to get that. Uh, but it, it created a giant lake in the underworld, and I don't know how, but um, it's pretty strange and pretty cool. So yeah, that's um, that's that part of the world. And then up here we have the NPC housing commune. Uh, I know it's probably not the most ethical thing, but we're not going for ethical. We're The, the NPCs, they're not that important actually, except for the, the pirate and the witch doctor and the party girl. Party girl! Party girl! Merchant guide. Uh, I'm sorry to say the guide is actually kind of important. The nurse and um... Yeah, those are really the only important ones. I suppose the Dryad is semi-important, but uh, those are the only really important ones. Party Girl takes forever. Why is her name Fantasy 
forever to get. Up here we have more NPC houses. You may notice this teleporter pad. This is originally going to a truffle biome. Oh, we've got the truffle. Yeah, I should show you that, but I, it doesn't go anywhere because that biome was corrupted. And so I relocated the truffle. Uh, hello, Mrs. Nurse. Your name is Lorraine. Okay, heal me. Isn't Lorraine the name of Marty McFly's mom from Back to the Future? Oh, well, um... Alrighty, now to the left, we have this cave. This is where I first, this is like my first mining cave. Uh, oh, this is where I was digging for worms. Um, this is where I mine uh, whenever I need to mine. I've got some dirt here from long, long ago. This is back from episode 3, I believe, when I placed this dirt. Uh, because I didn't have wings or a grappling hook, which is pretty, pretty bad conditions back then. Um... But there's not too much down here, it's just a mine. But there's one thing down here, kind of like the underworld, there is a spider's nest down here that we can go in real quick. Um, if we head down this way, I'm surprised I still remember the path. Um, yeah, here we go. We are approaching it, we've just got to head over here, down here, uh, grab some air. We've got these air pockets strategically located, and here we are in the spider's nest. We are being attacked. Give me, give me, ooh, spider fang, what is that used for? I'll check with the guide, that's why I keep the guide alive. Uh, it's all filled with water, because, well, I didn't really feel like uh, having the spider webs everywhere, honestly. Oh, another spider fang. But anyways, let's return back to our house. Uh, got all of our banners in our trophy room, which is pretty epic. Uh, Mr. Guide, hello. What is Spider Fang used for? It is used for the Spider Staff. Oh, it's used for this new armor. Cool, I'm gonna have to, um, have to make uh, another, ooh, Cardinal, make another mannequin. Alrighty, so next up, up here we have this little thing that I actually need to destroy and relocate. This was used for f when I was fighting the destroyer. It spawns hearts, mana crystals, fireworks for some reason. Oh, I just put that on here because I wanted to. It has a heart lamp, a campfire, and dart traps lining the side. I used it to fight the destroyer. I'll probably relocate it to a, an area designed for boss fights and then over here I've got this little pool of lava for some reason I don't know why I built this um but yeah next up we we've, we've got to climb this rope over here this one right here and we'll go up and this is something that no one has seen before actually because I just built it uh so this is my floating island um this was the first one I had this is where I like fight wyverns and stuff uh, it's directly over my house, which is pretty epic, but I installed this yesterday. It's a minecart track, and it goes all the way to the Truffle's house. Um, so no one has seen this yet except for me, and ooh, hello Mr. Wyvern, I can't fight you yet because I'm in a minecart. Uh, it's fast, and it gets me right, th it gets me there. It's faster than walking. Um, it's also good for collecting stars. Here we are, let's get out and fight this Wyvern. Uh, you can die, sir. I just die already. Yep, there we go. He's dead. Uh, no gold coins. Why didn't you give me any gold coins? Anyways, here's our truffle biome. This is a floating island that I converted into a floating mushroom island um, so that my truffle could live here. It's got float giant mushroom trees. It's got the truffle's house. He's alone on this island. And yeah, um, I feel sorry for him, but now if we head over here, there's a second minecart track, and if we get on this one, and we start going, it's got these little uh, torches right here, because I hadn't been doing that, I actually kind of like that layout better. We come to this floating island, go down a little ramp, come over here, and at the end there's a jump, and we jump, and we land straight in the dungeon on another minecart track and come to a stop. Uh, timed it and made it work perfectly. It's amazing. I really like that minecart system. I get to the jungle or to the dungeon in about one minute. I should probably build on the opposite way going to the to the jungle. But then again, if any meteorites land, it's gonna not have that much area. But this is our dungeon. Um, if we go down here, we will see the hard mode chests, uh, the po post plantera chests. There are several of them. Um, we have Crimson, Frost, Jungle, those are the ones I've found so far. I might have found a few more, but I don't remember. Um, I'm harvesting spikes from the 
dungeon currently. I wonder if spikes regenerate in the dungeon. That'd be interesting to find out because I uh, don't like trees regenerate in the jungle. You don't have to plant saplings or something. Stop hurting me, stupid poison arts. I need my bezoar or my medicated bandage. But in time, when we create the onk charm, because that's what we're trying to do at the moment, uh, I'm trying to remember where this chest is. Oh, yes, uh, I believe one is right down here. You guys can all die. I don't want to turn this into a dungeon crawling episode. Did I just get a rare drop? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, well, I got a golden key. Oh, yes, they're right over here. Uh, I'll just show you guys one of the chests. Um, because I'm going to wait till the other episodes. Oh, we've got a hollow chest. Yes, here we are. The jungle hard mode chest right there. Uh, very useful. We're going to have that unlocked hopefully soon. Um,. What else is there? There's the frost chest or the frozen chest, I think it's called. Uh, crimson chest right here in the hallowed chest is somewhere in this area. That is the first, uh, that is the first harm mode chest we we're going to unlock. There it is because we have two, two, um, hallowed key molds. Uh, yes, I have two hallowed key molds and no key molds of anything else, which is strange. I'm going to need to create a little sign right here for me. There we go, just so I can find it on the map. Um, but let's head back to our house. So that was that part. Um, don't know how much more there is to show you guys. Uh, I believe over here is something. I think I've built something. Oh, right here. No, that's a thing. I was thinking of something different. Um, we have a pit that we used for the f uh, for the uh, pirate invasion. I believe around here. Um, yes, here it is. I used this pit for the pirate invasion initially, but then I discovered that they were going to my spawn point, so I had to abandon this and go and fight them. And that's why I got this legendary cutlass, although I have reforged it so that it is legendary. It's originally like godly or something. Um, but if we had it over here, it'd be so much easier if I had a minecart track that landed me in the jungle and landed me at the ocean. I'll probably install that off camera, maybe. Um, so uh, here is another crimson, and uh, we'll get to the jungle in a second where I have gotten some life fruit from it, and that's why I have 425 health. Um, soon enough, after we defeat all the, the mechanical bosses, oh, I thought that was a giant... Uh, giant slime. We've got this little jungle outpost right here for whenever I'm fighting, uh, whenever I'm in the underground jungle, like harvesting gold or, or farming for gold or fighting anything, trying to get rare drops or farming stuff. I, I'll use that outpost um, for that purpose. And so this is the jungle and we'll fight Plantar there. In like I'd say 12 episodes maybe. I'm trying to I'm trying to get adam enough adamantium so that I've got full adamantium armor so that I can fight the what's their faces the twins and then Skeltron Prime and then once those are defeated we can fight Plantera. After Plantera we have the Golem and then after the Golem I don't know actually. Uh, here's our giant tree. Oh, we've got those, uh, we've got, like, the frost moon and the, um, the Halloween one. Oh, oh, look, our, um, our acorns have grown into, into pine trees. Sweet. Okay, or not pine trees, um, palm trees. There we go. And this is our ocean. There's another ocean on the other side. There's nothing really there. This is an ocean outpost. There's just no bed at the moment. And then this is our little ocean bridge. Oh, those palm trees look amazing. Just look at them. I like those a lot. You know, plant some more of those sometime. But anyways, guys, that was my Terraria 1.2 uh, Let's Play World. This was episode 50. I can't believe we've made it this far. We're also at 620, uh, 623 subscribers at the moment. So, 623 subscribers. And most of you guys are watching my Terraria videos. I get like uh, 400, 500,000 views per video, which is amazing. So if you would like to play in my world, there will be a download in the description. It will be updated from my 500 subscriber special, which was not that long ago. It was episode 43. That's the most recent uh, world download there is. Oh, oh I didn't... Uh, I, I didn't configure this right. Uh, this video right, so it's going to have some black bars on the top and bottom. Oh, well. 
Um, I've got to record several more videos because I'm going to be gone next week. So, um, there will be a link to Mediafire in the description where you can download my world to play for yourself, as well as Alex, who is this character. Don't worry, I'll have all this stuff out of my inventory and sorted. So anyways, guys, if you liked this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome Terraria content. I will see you all next time. Thanks for sticking with me for 50 episodes. Goodbye.